Hey guys, Probable 1701 here, and today we are going to be reviewing Doctor Who and the Power of Crawl, the target novelization, which is how it's phrased, Doctor Who and the Power of Crawl. And the target novelization is done by Uncle Terrence, which is always a nice thing to see. The cover art's kind of nice, I like it. Now, uh, this was sent to me by uh, Fl the Fly Attractor, who is not only one of my subscribers, but one of my patrons as well. He sent me a couple packages, and uh, I guess he thought maybe I would appreciate the Target novel more than the story is pretty well known for most people who watch my channel that I don't like The Power of Crawl. It's the one Tom Baker story I just I can't do. I can't rewatch again. I've seen it two or three times. I just don't care for it. <coughs> and I decided to give the Target novel a try because I had really enjoyed the Highlanders. I really enjoyed the Target novel of the Gunfighters, which was a big 180 from the episode because I didn't like the actual episode of the Gunfighters, but I really enjoyed the Target novel of it. Complete 180. So I figured, you know what? I'll give it a chance. You know, it's a Robert Holmes script. It's Terrence Dix writing it. That's two Doctor Who legends. Maybe it can spin around like the Gunfighters. And it doesn't do that. The book is better. I do like the book better. I don't regret reading it. I don't feel like I've wasted my time. The book is still not super great. I still find the story just... Mm. But part of that is just the story itself. Like, I've always defended it saying that it was the execution that was the problem. Which it is in the TV episodes. The execution is atrocious. It's the same director who did Underworld. Um... But while the script, dialogue-wise, is decent, I've always said it's a decent script, it's the ideas going on the script just don't appeal to me. Giant squids do not appeal to me. Swampy marshlands do not appeal to me. Just It, it doesn't have anything that really hooks me other than Tom Baker being there. And even in the story, Tom Baker didn't really save it like he normally does. But in the book, the fourth Doctor is written pretty well. He has some nice little humorous fourth doctory remarks that he makes like when the guy who runs the refinery captures him and he's like you've almost forgot to tell us don't make any sudden moves and then the guy's like don't make any sudden moves and I'm like I can't remember if that's actually in the episodes or not but that's funny uh so it has several moments of him being the fourth doctor being fourth doctor making those little witty comments he even makes one that almost gets him killed. The commander's about to shoot him right before he gets stabbed with a spear. And the, it says in the book, the fourth doctor realized he may have made one, he may have gone one joke too far or made one joke too many. Because he does tend to poke, poke, poke at people. Poke, 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 and press his luck. That's just his nature. Um, I was having a problem at the beginning of the novel of while I was picturing in my head, because I always run basically a mental movie in my head when I'm reading a book, but I kept picturing the episode because I saw the episode first but as I read more of the novel it became more of my own original movie like all of the stuff with Kroll instead of seeing the movie of Kroll I was actually seeing the images I was creating in my mind which did make Kroll more intimidating uh, especially reading about him first waking up reading about how he's just hungering and to him it's just all food and how frustrated he is attacking the refinery that was interesting, reading the way Terrence describes him as this gray blob as big as a mountain. Very descriptive, Uncle Terrence. Very good at... <coughs> <coughs> Very good at painting a, a good picture. Uh, he uses a lot of details. So I very much enjoyed that. Uh, and then right at the end when they're looking for the TARDIS and the doctor almost goes in the wrong direction and Romano's like, no, it's this way. And he's like, no, it's this way. And he steps into some mud and he's like, you know what, I think it's this way. It has those little moments in it. The refinery cast are fine. The commander's a bit of a 2D character. The very, I am the law. You will do as I say. Rah, 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 rah. Kind of a, kind of a hard ass. Uh, you know the type. Um, he's very much that. And he gets what he has coming. And then there's, of course, the sleazy smuggler type who's double crossing people <clears throat> again kind of a two-dimensional character but he's fine he really he gets his too and then there's the uh the tribesmen the swampies they call them uh i really like one of them the one that doesn't believe kroll is their savior the one that's kind of against don't against all of that his name begins with a v i liked him because he's actually thinks he's like yeah i don't 
don't know about all this. But then there's the one guy who's like the leader of the Swampies who basically, you know, just worships Crawl no matter what. No matter what he sees, he won't give up his faith. And he gets his too in a way that's quite fitting for him. Uh, so I, I like the fact that some of the people who get what they deserve get what they deserve. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it's not a story that grabs me. The book is definitely better than the TV episodes. Uh, and I don't feel like I wasted my time with it. Uh, but it's still just, eh. Yeah, I debated whether to even review this because I, I knew my review was basically going to boil down to, well, the TV episodes are terrible and the target novelization is slightly better than eh. Uh, basically in a nutshell. But I know what most of y'all, I know most of y'all know what I think of The Power of Crow and that I don't like it. So I figured you might want to hear my thoughts on the target novelization, especially since I did you know, go through the trouble to read it. And, uh, and didn't feel like I wasted my time. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's better, but I, it's still not that great, despite being Robert Holmes and Terrence Dix. It's just the subject matter itself uh, just isn't something that grabs my attention. You know, I'm, I'm more of a show-me-a-shark movie, not a giant squid thing. Sharks are cooler to me. So, so that's my thoughts on Doctor Who and The Power of Kroll. Uh, readable, interesting, not something I'll be revisiting for a while, but better than the TV episodes. So I'd like to know what you think of The Power of Crawl, the TV episodes, the target novelization, both. So let me know down in the comments because I always enjoy hearing from you guys. Other things to do, I have a Patreon if you would like to support me that way. There is a link to that down in my description below. <clears throat> I try to do an exclusive video for some of my middle and higher end tiers every week. I also um, give a free video request for anyone who joins at any tier level. I also have a P.O. box. It's down in the description below as well if there's anything you would like to send me. Again, this was actually sent to me by one of my subscribers and also one of my patrons, uh, the Fly Attractor. Uh, he sent me a couple packages, and I really appreciate them. Uh, it's been really nice reading through some of these Target novels he sent me. Uh, I also have an Amazon wish list. There is a link to that down in the description below. I update that regularly. And uh, if nothing else, if you have a second and you haven't subscribed yet and you watch my content regularly, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and just click that subscribe button. That helps me out. That helps me grow the channel. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And the uh, helps me reach 1,000 subscribers, which is really my goal right now. Uh, my goal, of course, is to hit 800. I always like hitting another 100. But uh, 1,000 subscribers is my end goal. It would be kind of nice maybe if I could hit that by the end of the year. Um, so I'm working towards that. And, uh, of course, click the like button. I certainly appreciate that as well. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.